That is what I'm gonna be doing today. Um, we're actually headed to a close by skate park. And for the most part, I'm probably just gonna practice on the rail um, that's there. It's one of the few obstacles that they have at this park. And all the other parks in the area are closed. So uh, like, unfortunately, this is the only one to go to. Um, we're here. This is the skate park I'm gonna be skating at. It is here in the garage. I got the practice row right there. Got my skates, go ahead and get them out. These are the new skates that I got. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm staying in the garage. Like I know a lot of people are still getting out there doing their thing. And that is your choice. Um, I'm choosing not to do that. I'm staying inside as much as I can, only because I don't actually go out often as it is. So like, why start now? You know, it's kind of a weird time. All right, so the goal is I got a list of nine grinds that I want to try to do on this practice reel. But yeah, majority of the grinds are grinds that I can do pretty easily. Uh, and then there are, I think two or three that I threw in at the end that will definitely be less of me actually doing them and more of me trying to learn them. Before we even start that, I wanna show you guys something that I've been using to warm up or a method I've been using to warm up and it's just something that I came up with on my own. Um, and I'm really interested to see how difficult this actually is because I'm not gonna lie, like it takes me a while to do it the first time in a session. So I call it walking the plank. Literally all you're doing is going up to the rail, putting one foot down and then putting the other foot down and then just trying to walk across basically. Since we're all stuck at home, if you have a practice rail, try it and let me know how, like how long it took you to get. I have a feeling a lot of you are gonna be able to do it first try and that I'm just making it more difficult than it needs to be. Um, but it is a great way to get your feet going and also a great way if you have no stability in your sole foot, which is the case for me, um, it's a, or I'm sorry, your switch foot. It's a great way to start using that switch foot. Um, after doing this a few times, it's actually uh, when I was able to go from sole to, I guess, AO sole, uh, switch sole. This is what got me there is, is doing that a few times. So let's try it and then I'll go ahead and get to the list. good enough and it took me I mean it still took me a while but nowhere near as long as it took me the first few times I tried that so, so first grind on the list is soul grind what else is gonna be soul grind and then AO soul right after that and then those are basically the two grinds I'm comfortable with and all the grinds after that will be a little bit of a challenge but that's what we're here for is a challenge and to practice and to stay indoors I guess
So Royales on this practice rail are something I learned maybe like, I don't know, a week or two ago, not even like pretty recently. Again, that's on the practice rail. I, I can do it on ledges at this point. So that's definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna have to warm up a bit with and then go for it. I could probably do better, if I'm being honest, but I'm not gonna push it. Um, I'm gonna count that one, and I'm gonna move on to the next trick, and I believe the final trick, which is a farv. And that uh, this is something that I literally just learned. Um, so again, I'm gonna try to stall it a few times, and then I'm gonna go for the grind itself. Wish me luck. I'm unfortunately gonna count that one. I slid a little bit, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back out here tomorrow and practice that some more. And maybe by the by the time we're able to go back outside again, I'll be able to far on a rail, who knows. As always guys, I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope you guys have something to skate in your backyards or in your garage. Stay safe, stay strong. And I'll catch you on the flippity flop. Hello?